So here we are after collecting all, enough product to be measured. And here are the numbers. So here I'm just calculating how uh, the mass of the, um, the beverage beforehand with this being the test, uh, the graduated cylinder minus graduated cylinder in the liquid minus just the graduated cylinder to get the mass of the liquid divided by the volume of the liquid. And that's the density before. So it's just above the density of water, which even though the ethanol in there, which is only 14%, uh, the ethanol in there is actually less dense. You would think this would be at least just the density of water, maybe just a little less, but with all the colors and other things that they add, this inevitably goes higher in the density of water. Now, if we're gonna to look to after, so this is after the distillation process with the liquid that we collected. So that's the graduated cylinder plus the liquid we collected which was hopefully mostly ethanol, minus just the graduated cylinder to get the mass of the graduated cylinder, I mean, to get the mass of the, the ethanol, divided by how much ethanol we actually collected, and this is our density. And the density of ethanol is actually 0.789, actually went lower, so, and of course there's inaccuracy everywhere in this experiment, it's just how homemade it is, um, but it was only 2.5% error, so pretty solid. And something I wanted to mention, which I didn't mention in the last clip, but the condenser is actually fairly important if you want accuracy and efficiency to be a to be a factor, to be a thing. Um, because what it does is whenever the vapor does evaporate from this chamber and climbs up the tube, you want it to actually condense quickly. You don't want it to just sit and take up space because that's very inefficient. So the condenser is gonna be over here with typically a cold liquid um, or something of the sort. And what it does is it basically saps the heat from the vapor inside of the tube, uh, making it condense into the liquid form and it'll just dribble down the tube and collect. Uh, thank you.